So we've got a question here. What is the, these uh, linear congruences? We've got three of them here, and they're all pretty similar. 4x is congruent with 3 on all three, but the moduluses are different. So we've got mod 5, mod 7, and mod 11. So how are we going to go about solving what x is? That's what we need to find, is what the value of this x is. Now before we start, we've got a slight problem in our normal way of solving these linear congruences. Is we've got this 4x. What we really need is just to get the x on its own. So basically what we need to do before we start is to solve for x on these individually. So what we're looking for here on the first one, 4 times the number x is congruent with 3 in modular 5. So as these numbers are pretty small on all of them, we can just do trial and error. We just keep putting a number for x, go from 0 to all the way up to whatever this number is. It won't take us too long, I'm sure. So going with this one, straight away we see 4 times 2 is 8. And 8 is congruent with 3 modulus 5, because 8 minus 5 is 3. So that's pretty straightforward. So what we can say is now that x is congruent with 2 modulo 5. Now I've left a little gap there because we could put a, a, a variable in there. For example, we could put 4n, 5n, 6n or whatever because this will just keep going on forever. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to write underneath it instead that x equals 2 plus 5k. And that's for some random k where k is an integer. Okay, so that's the first one solved, so that's straightforward. Now on to this one. What can we do for x here? What can we multiply x for that we're going to get congruent with 3 modulo 7? Well, keep on doing all the multiples of 4, we'll find something straight away, I'm sure. So we've got 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. 24 looks good. 24 is congruent with 3 mod 7. 6 4s are 24. So what we say is now that x is congruent with 6 mod 7. So that's great. So what we also write as, just for this, we write x equals 6 plus 7k. And the same rules apply here for k is in the integers somewhere. Okay, next one, we're going to take a little bit more time because we've got modulo 11. So we want 4 times x to give us something congruent with 3. So we've got 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36. 36 looks good. So 36 is congruent with 3 modulo 11. So therefore we can say that x is congruent with, well for 36 it's 4 times 9. So x is congruent with 9 modulo 11. So therefore we can write x equals 9 plus 11k. So for any random k. Okay, so that's the first stage completed. So just write that there, first stage. Okay, the next stage is we need to create some variable now to help us uh, understand the modular of all these three combined. So we've got modular 5, modular 7, modular 11. Now these are all prime numbers. So we don't need to split anything, so that's great. So now we can just go ahead and just multiply those three numbers together. So 5 7's 35. 35 times 11 is 350 plus 35, 385. So therefore we can write that n equals 385. And we're not going to really need that until we get to the third part of the question, the third part of the stage of the solution. Okay, so that's the first one. Now we need the modulo of each one with the other two. So basically to explain that, so n1, for example, that's taking care of this one, we multiply these two modulars. So the n1 would be 7 times 11, which is 77. n2, we've got 5 times 11, which is 55. 
five and n three. That's this one. So now we've got five times seven, which equals 35. Okay, so now these numbers are now our important numbers for the next stage. So the next stage, let's just call this the second stage. We need to find the inverse of these modulo of the one it's concerned with. So for example, for the inverse of 77, so 77 x congruent with 1 mod 5. So basically what we're looking for is the multiplicative inverse of 77 mod 5. So what we need now is a number multiplied by 77 to give us congruent with 1 mod 5. So again, as it's only mod 5, we just do trial and error. Multiples of 77. So 77 we know is no good. Double it is 154. Still no good. And then add another 77, we get 231. So therefore, that looks good. 231 is congruent. So 77 times 3 equals 231, which is congruent with 1 mod 5. Therefore, the number we're interested in here is this 3. So I'm just going to circle that 3. So that's the multiplicative inverse of this number. Now let's go for this one. So now we need multipli multiplicative inverse of 55 modulo 7. So now we're going to write 55x is congruent with 1 mod 7. So now all we need is multiples of 55 which are congruent with 1 mod 7. So 55, 110, no, it's not going to work because that gives us 109 difference. 165, 164 difference, still no good. Uh, 220, that's 219, that's not going to work. 275, it's not going to work, it's 274. And 330 is congruent with 1, so that's 329 difference. So that's what we want. So we can say 55 times 6 equals 330, which is congruent with 1 mod 7. So again, our multiplicative inverse, I'm just going to circle it round there. And now for the last one, we need the multiplicative inverse of 35 mod 11. So I'll just write this up on here now. So we need 35x is congruent with 1 mod 11. Okay, so again, just multiples of 35, it's congruent with 1 mod 11. Well, anything that divides by 11 is pretty hard, easy to see. So 35, 70, 105, 140, 175, 210, that looks good. So 35 times 6 is 210. Just one there, so it's 210. And 210 is congruent with 1 mod 11. Okay, so here we go. Six is our multiplicative inverse. Okay, so now we come up to the third stage of finding our solution. So I'll just write third on here. And now we've got to do is take each original question and find the important numbers that we found in the first two calculations and multiply them together. So it's going to look something like this. So the first, no first one, we got 3, that was our multiplicative inverse. We got the modulo, that was concerning us, so that's 77. And we've got this one here, what it was congruent with in the original uh, solution. So that's 2. So then multiply that by 2, then that will give us 77 times 2 times 3, 677s, that's 462. So that's the first important number. And now we're going to add on the ones for the second line of solutions. So the multiplicative inverse is 6. The modulo that we was interested in there is 55. And our congruence 
on the solution here is 6. Okay, so multiply these up. 55 times 6 times 6. So 55 times 6 is 330. Uh, 330 times 6, or well, 633s are 198, so that's 1,990. So let's add in that. And the next one that concerns us is with this one here. Our multiplicative inverse that was concerning us on that one was 6. The modulo concerning that was 35. And the uh, remainder on this one here. What it was congruent with the remainder there was nine okay so now i need to multiply this one up and this one's looking a bit tricky 35 times 6 is 210 210 times 9 well 921 is 189 so that's 1890 okay so now what we do is we take these numbers in this line and add them up and what we want is modulo 385 because now we're combining all three parts together so modulo 385 okay so before we add these up and work out what the modulus is we can just break each one down individually just to make it easier so 462 mod 385 that's going to give us 77 1980 mod 385 well, that's going to give us 55. So 385, we multiply that by 5, we'll have 55 remainder. So I'll let you guys just check that. And then this one here, 1890 uh, 1, mod 385. So 5385s five is 1925. That's five of them. So here, what we could put in there, instead of putting the big number in, we could put minus 35. That still works. Minus 35 is still congruent, mod 385. So plus, I'm still going to write that value like that. So I just write 385, not 385. Okay, so now all we do is work out the total of this. 77 plus 55 is 132. Minus 35, that gives us... 97. So the solution is now x equals 97. That's our solution. So now what we need to do is just check it. So I've worked with the original question 4x. So 4x. So that's 497. So that's 388. It's congruent with 3 mod 5. Well, 388 minus 3 is 385. We know divides by 5. We can check that one. Okay, so now let's check the next one. 4x congruent with 3. So we want 388 congruent with 3. This time our modulo is 7. So basically 7's into 385. Well, we know that divides. 7's into 385. Let's just check it. Write this down the old-fashioned way. So 7 times 50 is 350, and 7 fives at 30, uh, 7 fives at 35, 350 plus 35, so that's 55 times. So we know that's checked. And for the last one, 388 is congruent with 3 modulo 11. So 11's into 38, I can't even write 385, there we go, 385. 11's into that, we've got 330 with 55 remainder, there we go, that's checked. And that's how we solve the linear congruence for three equations with the multiple of the x in here. If you check the link in the description below, I've got some videos where some different combinations of these and without the coefficient in the front as well. Okay.